Lesson 2.3, Make Picture Graphs. If you haven't seen 2.2 on how to use a picture graph, it's linked in the description for you. We can draw a picture graph to show data in a table. A picture graph uses small pictures or symbols to show and compare information. We learned that in the last video, 2.2. When we make a picture graph, we write the title at the top using capital letters for each word. We put the name for each row, whatever the topic is that we're talking about. So our choices for favorite ice cream would be chocolate, vanilla, strawberry. You could even have pistachio or butter pecan or another flavor that you want to put in there. We choose a picture or symbol for the key that is easy to draw or use. I'm going to use green dots when I make my picture graph. But you could use any of these symbols or pictures or come up with ones of your own. We use the information from our survey or from a frequency table to draw the correct number of pictures or symbols. If our frequency table, which we learned about in video 2.1, shows 8 for chocolate, 4 for vanilla, 2 for strawberry, then that's how we would finish our picture graph. We would decide on what each picture or symbol represents. I'm going to have them represent and stand for two people when I make my picture graph. If your survey or frequency table has large numbers, you can have each picture stand for more. But mine are going to represent two people for each green dot. I have eight chocolate, four vanilla, and two strawberry that people said they liked. And because I have an eight, a four, and a two, we can use groups of twos. We can skip count two, four, six, eight. So four green dots for my picture graph would equal eight people that like chocolate. Two green dots will equal four people, and one dot will equal two. If the numbers from our survey or frequency table are three, six, and nine, we could use groups of threes. One symbol could be three, two symbols could be six, and three symbols or pictures could be the 9. If the numbers are 5, 10, and 15, we could use groups of 5. And my numbers were 8, 4, and 2. If the numbers are 8, 4, and 2, we can use groups of 4s and use a half symbol for the 2. Each green dot could be a 4, so we would have 4 and 8. One of them is a 4, and Half of four is two, so we could say half of a dot is equal to two. We can use whole pictures or symbols or half pictures or symbols to represent the amounts. You can try making your own picture graph from data you collect. Take a survey from your friends or family with some choices they can pick. You record the data to a frequency table Remember, frequency tables use numbers, and then use the frequency table to complete the picture graph. You could ask your friends and family what their favorite pizza type is. You can ask, do they like cheese, vegetable, pepperoni, sausage, and you can have a symbol or picture and write in the key what each symbol or picture represents, what number it is equal to. Then put your symbols or pictures according to how many in that area there. We can use data from a tally table to make our picture graph. We learned about those in video 2.1. And frequency tables, tally tables, and picture graphs help us see and compare information easily. So now you can try to make your own picture graphs. We're going to talk about bar graphs in the next lesson. I hope I'll see you there, and I hope you have a really good day. Bye.